Everybody's helping move fences today. There's Time and Inca. That's where I'm going to be putting fence line in a few days. There's the puppy. Hey, kitty. How are you? Yeah. Here are the horses. I've moved the fence a little bit. So they've got a stretch of fresh grazing. This will last them till tomorrow. See, they have this strip here, all the way down, and then this is their cutoff point. <gasps> Ow! You can only guess what just happened. <laughs> Time got tired of the puppy pursuing him. So he got up, hopped onto my back but he used his claws. What I'm gonna do when it gets hotter <laughs> in the summer, there'll probably be screams of agony as he claws up my back to get above the puppy. See, the puppy is down there. <laughs> anyway, back to the horses with a purring kitty on top of my um, <clears throat> shoulder. Purring time. You're such a purr. I mean, he has got such a purr. Don't you? Such a purr. Yes. Such a purr. So, as you can see, the dogs are having a lovely time helping themselves to fresh horse manure. The horses are grazing their fresh patch. I have to move those fence posts out of the way. Uh, but this is where they've been. You can see their fresh manure or pseudo fresh and then fresher manure. There's some very fresh manure there. But it's all getting broken down. So this was the last two days, few days, and I've, this fence has just been put up. This fence was over there. You can just see this shimmer of extra green. That was about um, a week ago, was where the horses were. Ow! This cat really is hurting me. He's got claws. I don't know, look at them happily having their meal of pre-cooked vegetables and introducing the puppy to it. Anyway, let's see if there's any... Oh, there's the cat. Dung beetle activity. And over we go. And yeah, you can kind of see there's holes in there where the dung beetles are active in this pile of dung. It's kind of dry. And you want to see too, don't you? Yes, very educational cat. So here, there's a dung beetle. Oh, it just landed and went in. Let's see there, oh, there's a dung beetle right there. Oh no, that's not a dung beetle, it's a different kind of beetle. That's an, um, another important beetle in manure piles. So there's many, it's not just dung beetles. Dung beetles are the ones that we have 40 different varieties of in Ireland alone. And then there's other flies and other beetles and butterflies and moths. When they come out of their chrysalis, the first thing they do is to find some fresh manure or their favorite is fresh urine and they drink up the mineral supplements just as what they need. So this is to help the biodiversity. Now, if we walk over this way, we can see bear running by, but we can see this is all very, very rich. You can see the different colored grasses. See right here, that's one kind of grass. This is another kind of grass. Whoops. What was that all about? Goodness me. They're all fighting over a particular pile of dung. What's so important about that piece of dung? What is so delicious about that piece of dung that you're growling about it to frighten a horse? There's nothing, nothing's happening. Oh, look, it's full of dung beetles. Oh, look at all the dung beetles. Bear. Look, they don't care they're dung beetles. They're gonna eat the dung beetles. Extra protein in their pre-cooked vegetables. Anyway, the horses are enjoying their fresh grass. But I was gonna go on and say 
this field has never been sown with me with clover. And white clover is returning. There's loads of white clover. You can see it there, all in those grasses. Loads of white clover. Over there, there's a pile of, of, of white haze of white clover. And then you can see the different grasses. There's one grass, two grass. Let's see, pull the camera out. So here you can see that's a grass, uh, that's a different grass from this grass, from this grass. Here's another grass right there. Yes, there are thistles. There's more clover that isn't blooming. Some of that is probably red clover. There's a buttercup. Here you can see, I don't know if you can tell, there's a particular grass here with different grasses in it, like right there. Right there is two different grasses, you can see. So, biodiversity in the grass sward. Look at that. Loads of insect life. And time is trying to get away from the puppy, Thistle. So, Thistle is what my sister called the puppy. So, Thistle and Time are going underneath the larch tree. And Thistle will probably climb up the larch tree in a minute. I better get back to electric fencing the horses for the next few days. Time is up there somewhere. That's why the pheasant is cross. Time is up stalking a pheasant, I think. The horses are happily grazing, and I've finished fencing. She's going off to hunt the pheasant as well and see why the pheasants cross. Well, it took a dog to make the pheasant go flying. I wouldn't chew thistles, Thistle. Thistle is now, that's your namesake, you do realize. Chewing thistles is not a clever thing, even though your name is Thistle. <laughs>